Let's go. Okay. Okay. Just already seeing the giant rev. Okay. There's a Nessie. George, you're on the map. Look right back there. Oh, bro. Okay. Loba, rev. Can you shoot them down, do you think? I wonder. Can you shoot them down, do you think? The Watson one is kind of terrifying looking, I'm not going to lie. Also, this seems really loud. Hold up a second. Nope. All right. Oh, break it down. Uh. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 Oh! Oh, okay. Sorry. 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 <clears throat> Got a little too excited. Is this voyage? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Dude. <clears throat> I love this. Nothing but big man wiggles over here. Nothing but big man wiggles over here. Alright. I boost this back up now. I'm excited. Talk me up, talk me up. Remaster, okay. And here we go. This sounds like it'll be fun. Dude. Wait a minute, that's. If you don't like what you see, put a bag over your That's head. Habitat 6! Better to die fighting than Okay. Skulltown. Party Crasher. Habitat. Oh, Habitat 4. 6 4. Woo! Okay. Spotted a weapon supply bin over there. Time to drop, shock, and rock. Ooh! Check this out! My squad's gonna beat up your squad. Check your map. Okay. The told me where to find enemies. I've defined the ring's next location. We've got some extra supplies over here. Kiss the soul dog still has a few tricks. We're gonna have to go back in this, cause Jesus, a lot just happened. Oh, look at it! Underestimate me and pay the price. Ooh, did it? Watch it out. sounds awesome. I'll eat you alive. Out of my way, cause I'm hot on the run. Bro. Yeah, okay. I am more prepared than you know. No mercy. Guys, look at this! Guys, look, look, look! Now I got full power! <laughs> we had fun! Right? I mean I had fun. <laughs> okay. Okay. There was a lot that just happened. Hold up a second. All right, let's 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 get back into this and re rewatch right so we can break this down a little bit. First off, bro, this Newcastle skin here is so solid. All right, so team deathmatch. Okay, so remastered legend classes, and then it shows all the different legends here. Um, we get a look at some of the new skins, like for uh, Houndy, Crypto back here, um, Mirage.
new weaponry. Of course, that's the Nemesis AR. This sounds like it'll be fun. This trailer goes hard, by the way. So it's cool. So they're re. So they're okay. I like the fact that so they got rid of arenas, right? Arenas is fucking out of here. Gone, right? Got rid of arenas. But now we're bringing back the arena maps, but there is team deathmatch maps. I like that because I did like a lot of the arena maps. I thought the arena maps were cool and good maps. So seeing them being reused is nice. Also, this is obviously showing this new PK skin. Um, but I, I like this, though. Team deathmatch, baby! Okay, 6v6. Round-based. Best of three. The Skull Town, Party Crashers, and Habitat 4. And Giant Nessies. George is on the map. Um, honestly, that's not a bad three maps to start with Team Deathmatch. Honestly, I think that these are the three of the better maps. Of course, everyone loves Skull Town, right? Everyone loves Skull Town. So that's a, that's a solid one. Party Crashers, in my opinion, I think was the best arenas map, period. I thought this was one of the best maps for arenas. Um, and Habitat 4 was, uh, was, was good as well, because it had a lot of different, like, you know, ways you could go and everything. So, I like those three. I like those three maps. <laughs> okay, so we got a new Octane skin up there. Skin, skin. Th th this, this Crypto skin is unreal. But that Octane skin is free. It looks like the, uh, Arachnid one. Okay. Mas remastered legend classes. So we got support, controller, recon, skirmisher, assault. We kind of knew this. We've kind of been seeing this. Now we're fully seeing this. Okay, so assault, bang, rev, fuse, ash, maggie. Okay. Uh, skirmisher, pathy, wraith, mirage, octane, horizon, valk. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, the mirage one's kind of interesting. Because um, that's almost like the really one that isn't movement based. So, uh, recon, blood. Crypto see advantage that stays the same. Controller, is it controller? Is that what it was? Now I got to now I got yeah controller. Okay, so controller we got Caustic Watson Rampart ca Catalyst makes sense, and now support Gibby and Newcastle join the crew. I kind of like that genuinely. Okay, so assault combat initiation and utility. So basically, these are the guys that are supposed to start the fights. That's what the, that's what they're getting at. These ones that are built to start fights. So they have red bins. That's kind of fucking awesome. So they get red bins, thing underneath, and it looks like it's just attachments for whatever guns you have. Extra attachments for whatever guns you have, which is really nice. Kind of get to see what the nemesis looks like in bin right there. Um... Very intriguing. I wonder, can all legends open the red bins? Or is it only going to be assault? That's my only question. Right? Okay, so... They they did a terrible job with making it so stuff tough, tough to use. Skirmisher! Okay, combat, mobility, and escape. That's the mirage part. The escape part, I'm assuming. And we can see stuff that's in care packages. I... <sighs> I think this is kind of dumb, personally. But it's information. I just I don't see how this how, how this how is how is seeing care what's in care packages, combat mobility and escape. See what I'm saying? Like I just doesn't to me those two this and this ability don't equal out. So. Enemy intel and tracking. So this is the new recon thing now. Which we saw a little bit of in the uh, launch trailer. So now we get to see where people are when we do that. We don't get to see the ring. We get to see where people are. Similar to Crypto Map World. Uh, map Room. Right? We call it Crypto World. So. Uh, but Map Room. Right? So, so similar to Map Room. Cool. Makes sense. Area setup and control. So, yeah, so now these guys, so now Controller is now getting the old recon ability where they get to see where the next ring is. I like that, and that makes sense for for, for this setup, right? Team Survival and Supply. Makes sense. Team Survival, 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 Supply. Or Survival even Supply. 
some blue bins, which apparently now can only be opened by supports, which is kind of cool. But now this is the big one up here. Also, oh, I like how it has that blue shade to it. I don't know if it's had that blue shade before, but I like that. This is the big one. You can craft banners. So if someone, if their banner, if like, if my banner is getting like, if my banner is getting camped, I can have my buddy Fedge, who plays Lifeline, he can run to the nearest fucking crafter and just craft my banner. Instead of going and getting it. I think that's cool. The only question I have though, and we'll take a look at the website here in a second as well just to make sure to see if there's anything new on there. My only question is, with doing this, if my banner times out, can you still craft it? Because if not, that adds another element to kind of the timing of it. But still, that's awesome. Also, interesting, wonder, is very, very visibly showing Loba at the, at the, uh, at her black market. Does that mean that Loba's getting a buff with her black market? Has a few tricks. Random thought. Nemesis, baby! I'm excited for this. Sounds great. Estimate me and pay the price. Watch out. I'll eat you alive. Interesting how they only showed it as burst just then. But alright, so this is the Battle Pass skin, so we got a dope looking Bloodhound. This crypto skin is unreal, by the way. Mirage skin's good. Good Mirage skin. You know, a solid, solid rampart skin. I'll take it. We we could you could have done any other legend, honestly. Here, you didn't need to do Wraith again. Wraith already has so many fucking skins. There's no point. Why didn't you do Catalyst? Why didn't you do uh, Newcastle? Why didn't you do Ash, Valk, Horizon? Uh, Seer, any of the newer ones. Her Wraith has so many freaking skins, especially for someone like this, just a kind of a, almost a throwaway rare epic skin. You could have easily have thrown this on Catalyst and it would have looked just as good, if not better, right? Logan Awards. This is kind of cool for new players or for people who just don't have these characters. So from the 14th to the 21st, you get Crypto and you get a thematic pack for Crypto. And then from the 21st to the 28th, you get Ash and you get a thematic pack. You don't even need to. You don't even need to buy them. You just get them. It's kind of cool for new players and for players who just don't own these characters. That's kind of cool. I like that. This is the big thing: the collection event for the anniversary, baby. Okay, so community created reward track. So I'm gonna go onto the site, and they should show this because I want to see what's on this reward track. And we got the. We're bringing back the uh, the team skins, right? So here's the DJ skins for Recolor for Gibby, but then the new ones for Lifeline and Pathy. They look solid. Here's the superhero one. So Bang's getting the Recolor. The Newcastle one looks great. I'm assuming this is Wraith, maybe? I'm not sure. I'm assuming it's Wraith just because of the story they did, uh, the comic story they did a couple months ago, or a couple seasons ago, where this was the, was where this was the premise. So I'm going to assume that. The one that I'm the most excited for, because... The Baby Girl Horizon, the Octane Recolor, which looks solid. I know someone that I'm gonna probably gonna have to gift that to, and then the Ash skin looks looks crazy too. I want to see a better look at them, but so they're bringing this back. So if you complete the anniversary event, you get 150 heirlooms. Basically, you complete the event, you can get whatever heirloom you want. I love that for the anniversary. I think that is a solid thing. It makes too much sense to do this every year because then it gives everyone a chance, if they want to, at the anniversary, to do this. If people really want to, what you should do is save up your crafting for the entire year and then just drop it on the anniversary event and get a free heirloom. Random thought. Guys, look at this. Guys, look, look, look. Love the Mirage skin. Love the Voyage is back as well, by the way. Okay, so now let's see, let's refresh again, let's see if the site is, if they have a link to the site. If they don't, we can just go straight to the site. Um, we looked at the site last time, but they should have new stuff here. So there's more stuff on there, more stuff here, uh, more stuff here. That one we've already seen. Orientation matches we don't need to know about. Okay, so. Uh, oh, hold up. We're going to open this up. Reverie, a season for all to celebrate ton of stuff here that we'll look into um remastered legend classes this is kind of a cool looking new screen all legends available to try and firing range that's also awesome this is i like this new ui for this this actually is really kind of a cool new ui uh class perks uh reveal care packages that see that i just i don't think that's a 
To me, that doesn't make sense for Skirmisher. Enemy locations for recon makes sense. Next circle ring con uh, console for controller makes sense. Craft banners access blue bins makes sense. Uh, more ammo stack access red bins makes sense, right? All these make sense, but the Skirmisher one, in my opinion. It just doesn't make sense to me. Um, okay, so here. Perk. Access the secret compartment of weapon supply bins. Contains four smart loot attachments. Uh, for you or your team's current loadout. One slot, one loot slot is reserved for optics. Chances for a mag. Um, so that's what it looks like here. The thing is, though... Even in here, it doesn't say. It just says, access the secret compartment. So I'm assuming... Then, that you can get... Um, that anyone can open these, then. Uh, fight. They'll be able to pick up hidden compartments. Okay. So, yeah, so it's the same thing as what it was beforehand with just the, uh, with just lifeline and the bins. Now, they have red bins. They can access it. Alright, cool. Skirmisher. Um. Skirmishers can move in and out of fights. Uh, yep. Perk. Can spot incoming care packages to see the highest value contents in them. Care packages are revealed by looking at them for a few seconds. They can be spotted in the air or as they fall at their landing location if within range. You can also see when the item has been taken by another team. Turns gray. Can ping map icons or inward icons for teams. I just don't... Additionally, they can snag... They can see what and when high value has been snagged by others. We will continue to build on these classes in the future. I think, I don't think this is a good skirmisher thing. It doesn't make sense to me. This perk doesn't make sense to me in the terms of the skirmisher class. I'm going to say that right now. Recon. Uh, like we said earlier, recon allows you to see where everyone is. That's kind of cool. I dig that. Reveal all enemies in the minimap for 30 seconds. Whoa. That seems aggressive. I don't think that's what it is for Crypto World. Or well, for the map room. I don't think it's 30 seconds. That seems aggressive. 30 seconds does. Um, okay, this is kind of cool. They, they have different looks now. As well. So these, both of them look different. That's kind of cool. I like that. That's a nice, that's a nice little change. Um, yeah, this one just shows us where the next circle is. I like that. It makes sense for controller. And then support. Uh... Currently costs 30 crafting materials. Craft ally banners even if expired. Well, that answers my question. Banner can be recovered from the crafter once it is that. It can craft all recoverable teammates. That's pretty cool. That's actually pretty fucking cool. Um, access secret bins for that. Compartment of that. Yeah, so that stays the same. Okay, so that looks cool. I mean, like I said, out of all of them, Skirmisher just doesn't make sense to me. If someone wants to tell me why that makes sense, they can. I just don't think it makes sense. Uh, team Deathmatch, we're getting the same loadout type as uh, Gun Run. Uh, it's three rounds. 6v6 alliances, pick your loadout on spawn. You can swap your loadout or legend while respawning. Shields regen automatically. Uh, 30 kills, first win, two rounds. Swap loadouts in between rounds. Collect airdrops mid-round for stronger guns. Um, doesn't say what we start with. Interested to know what we start with. Do we start with blue shields? Do we start with white shields? That's the only question that I have now out there. Mixtape's kind of cool. Mixtape is going to be just like control, team deathmatch, gun run, and it changes every tw every day, I think they said earlier. A little nod to Titanfall 2. Every 15 minutes, the mixtape will rotate through a created list. That's that's awesome. I love that. I love that. That's fucking cool. Uh, meet the nemesis, a new energy gun, and then orientation matches. Okay. Um, so that's that. This is the same thing that we just looked at. And this is also the same thing. So now this is the only thing left. So we got that, that at launch. Boom. All of that. Battle pass. Da, 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 da. Now and more. The Imperial Guard Collection event. And the debut of Mixtape, a permanently playlist. So, this was all coming out in March. Sun Squad collection event. Veiled collection event. ALGS continues. 
So we're getting... We're getting four collection events. The Anniversary, Imperial Guard, Sun Squad, and Veiled. So... Heirloom Shards? Heirloom. Prestige Skin? Another Heirloom? Question mark? I don't know. I'm excited, man. This looks this this season looks like it's gonna be a blast. They've changed a lot of stuff, it seems like, and they're adding a bunch of stuff with the team deathmatch. The addition of mixtape, I think, is cool. Having it just then you can just go in and just say, fuck it, I wanna warm up real quick. Or, I'm dumb I'm 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 I've raged too much, right? Heat wave? What is heat wave? What is heat wave? Wait a minute, excuse me, what is heat wave? And why is this just wait a minute? Why is that destroy? Is that just what is he wave? What is that? What is that? What is heat wave? Someone tells me in the chat. Someone tell me down in the comments. What is heat wave? Um, going back through. Uh, love the reclasses. I think it's. Just, I think all the reclasses are solid. Skirmisher. I feel like needs a better passive. Uh, I don't give, I don't, that just seems weird to me. Like, combat mobility and escape, and your perk is I get to see what's in care packages. The two things don't add up. Those two things don't, don't line up to me. So, that's the only thing there. Everything else, though, I'm all in for. I'm all in for. This season looks like it is going to be a blast. Right? Oh, let's see here. Where where am I at? Where am I at? Where am I at? This season looks like it's going to be a blast. I'm excited. I can't wait to actually get in and find, like get into the game and play um next week. So yeah, I just I I I'm intrigued to see how it works. I'm intrigued to see how all of it goes down, right? And now, let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below, right? This longer video, we went through a lot of stuff. Really slowed down a lot of stuff and just kind of me running my mouth and thinking about stuff. So, sorry. But, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you guys are all are excited as I am and George. So, as always, Ben and we are morning, afternoon, even night. Still, stay safe and we will talk to you all later. Bye, George. I can't believe they finally put you on the map. You deserve it, man. The only thing is, though, is that are we going to get a cut? You think we're going to get a cut?